Talks tonight. Salmon Lake Park down in Grapeland is hosting their annual Bluegrass Music Festival. It's a staple event bringing in people from all over. Fox 51's Nolan Hoffman attended the event and is here with the sights and sounds. Nolan. Yeah, that's right, Katie. The Bluegrass Festival in Grapeland has been a staple for 47 years, and I got the chance to experience the festival earlier today, and from the looks of it, it's not slowing down anytime soon. Salmon Lake Park in Grapeland is once again celebrating their Labor Day Bluegrass Festival. Throughout Friday, dozens of bluegrass lovers enjoyed several bands playing their hits. Julie Tucker, who is an organizer of the festival, says bands that were featured on Friday weren't all from the Lone Star State. We've got bands coming from North Carolina, from Tennessee, from Louisiana, and it's just a fun, family-friendly time. Tucker says while she was happy with the turnout on Friday, she added more people would have attended if it wasn't for the hot temperatures. Our crowd's down a little bit because everybody was afraid of that 111 heat we had last week, but uh, God bless us with some cooler temperatures and we've got a good crowd. Dennis Michael Kahn has been attending the festival ever since it started, saying it's always been the music and the experiences for what has kept him in attendance year after year. Crowd and the friends and and uh, camaraderie that you have here at the Bluegrass Festival it's just uh, an atmosphere like none other. While other genres of music continue to evolve, Michael Kahn says the sound of bluegrass has stayed the same throughout the years, and it continues to draw loyal fans. The country music scene has changed so much in the last few years that a lot of the old country music people come to Bluegrass Festival because it's a similar sound of music. The festival ends on. On September 2nd at 11 p.m. And Tucker also telling me today that starting next year, the festival will be moving to the month of October so festival goers can enjoy cooler temperatures. In studio, Nolan Huffman, Fox 51 News.